Morning, everybody. Hello, it's me. How y'all doing? Um, about a tiny little bit later, I was playing some Cyberpunk. As soon as they've patched the game and it runs uh, noticeably better for me on PC, at least. Um, if I feel like the RTX stuff's working better. So I'm just checking couple things here, make sure everything's all hunky-dory, and then we'll get into my advent calendar. It's it's only Wednesday. Wait, when did we last play this? Was it Wednesday? Or was it earlier than that? Um, No, Wednesday was uh, Space Channel 5, wasn't it? So actually we might have like a whole week's worth of games. Oh, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> right then, let's get this set up. So we had a comment from one of the developers, the the developer of the um the boat game where you're sailing around at night. December third, it was called. Apparently, it was so dark because I turned off the flashlight, which is the F key, and I didn't know that that was a thing, and then I <laughs> just never thought to turn it back on again. So, good. The Journey Through the Dark was good. It was. I mean, the, the, the sailing lights, a the boat lights, that was fine. It's is just the walking never around a man. Anyway. Loading. Hello, Hellscythe. Enjoy your metaphysical pork bun. There's no buns here. In this game, but you can imagine one, and it'll it'll be great. I've turned the heating on. I've also got an electric blanket on. I'm also wearing gloves, and I also have a warm cup of tea. It is extremely cold in my apartment. You have to bear with me while I warm my hands up slightly here, because I won't be able to play games if I if I don't. <laughs> and also, before I get into this, um, the Peach Girl live action movie showing is thanks friend that's uh useful uh is at 3 p.m today that's in three hours so we're going to be jumping off the stream a little bit early because i'm going to say two and a half hours ish because uh, i want to get some food as well or maybe even two hours, it might be shorter, but anyway, we've only got a few games here and we've got some more hot PS1, so let's get into it. Anyway, Hellside, I'm doing alright, thank you for asking, how are you doing? Um, you brought your own pot buns? Oh, amazing. So cozy sounding, Oh, <laughs> Yes, with all my blankets. <laughs> it will be, alright now I'm freezing firm, anyway, hi. Did you all hear that? The guy was talking in my ear. What is that? It's a Krampus poem. <laughs> Keep the Krampus away. Did some grinding in Moe, man. Amazing. Um, yes, December 3rd. I'm looking at it right here because it was this. It was uh, Vladimir Vladimir Lore you did, did mention to us. But I really like that game, so I hope... Uh, hope he appreciates that. I'm sure he does. Uh, anyway, so... I forgot the last game we played. Was it this one? Artists of a Dead World, or did we actually go beyond that and do 6 and 6? I'm not sure if we did. Let me just check. Oh, we did that. We did that, and then we did Huajilguji that I couldn't pronounce. And then we got to day 8. 195 hours in the cold. Uh, 
Another thing I did today is I tested some VR stuff out and I figured out why it was going so crazy. I haven't fixed the random disconnect that only happens twice when I'm streaming and I don't know when or how. However, but, I mean it may not ever happen again, but uh, the other stuff, uh, the Steam Home going mental, I did fix. Turns out, if you don't tell it to use 100%, of your resolution, it'll just try and use the maximum allowable resolution, which goes up to like fucking 16k or some s strange, crazy amount. So it was trying to render at that, and I was getting two FPS. Uh. Right, this is 195 hours. There are dull flashes of memory, roaring air, bright lights, pain, all hollow like a mental afterimage. I have been walking, I missed the end of it. I'm sorry. I have changed in some terrible way. Rest. I want to rest. Slow my mouse down a little bit, I think. That's pretty wild. There we go. This is nice. I have been here before. The radio is off. The sounds I hear do not come from it. A little bright here, um, lens flares all around, epilepsy warnings, you know the drill. If it's if I'm playing indies, anything goes. Ugh, there goes my uh, stream deck again. <laughs> Resetting. The cable's fucked. I found out. I did buy it pre-owned a long time ago, uh, but yeah, it seems like the, the USB end of the cable is a little, little naff. I do not need this anymore. I have no more use for toilets. <laughs> okay. Um. My sorrow when I left to join the Corps never came close to matching his. We've ascended. Advanced beyond toilet. That's right. Oh. Art. This room is new and foreign to me. Do not think you took my absence well. The big old clock over there. Let's drink tea. It's starting to get less cold now. I'm using my left hand here. There we go. <laughs> no longer of consequence. Time doesn't matter. Toilets don't matter. What does matter? I've got USB cables are the worst. It could be true. I haven't really done anything. I've left this plugged in. Um, I've unplugged it like twice to, to move my um, PCs around. So if it's really that bad that unplugging it a few times has caused it to die, then uh, that's pretty, pretty terrible. Is this John Busco? It must be. The bar was a hole in the ground into which we threw money, but we loved it. And our money was nearing its end. The only way out was the core. I guess they owned a bar. One of them went off to fight. Or whatever. Core it is. 
another soon followed. What did I just pick up? It was some kind of static bar. Well, there were other doors I had not tested. The footsteps are very uneven. And I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's an artifact of the way they've been implemented. This place was once a fourth of its current size, and not as strange. There is something more of himself here, too much of himself. Oh! Me. My room a long time ago. It has become overwhelmed with the detritus of a broken man. Or what was once a broken man. is form to this structure. It's not just a series of interconnected rooms. It is in fact a building. Good to know. I suspect we need to collect more of those things. There were other doors, yes. The basement door. I would always see the light coming from beyond as he worked with his radios. I cannot... Oh, I guess there's two more things to find to unlock it. I get it. I had not been presented with that door earlier because I didn't think to go that way. But I suspect it would have had four bars on it. Was this always a big hole in the wall? Merry Christmas? I think this is a Christmas game though. Yeah. I mean, it's on a Christmas collection, right? So. <laughs> he always kept his work too close at hand. It leached into his personal space. leaked. Maybe. Days turned into nights, to years of solitude growing longer, no letters anymore from the one away. Grief and loneliness, a hellish dancing pair, dragged him down into the cold. Not stock, these have been opened. Oh, guy, guy had a drinking problem. This mattress sports a blanket of dust. It has not been used in ages. I cannot use it. My eyes will not grow heavy. Oh, I can jump. There's a jump button. Good. <laughs> For what good it would do us. You have a drinking problem with hot chocolate, not alcohol. You and me both, my friend. Um, work sent me some really nice hot chocolate. 
but I'm not getting through it that quickly because it's one of those nice ones where you have to like boil the milk for it and I'm just like a little bit lazy recently. I don't know. The winter months take a lot of energy away from me if I'm inside. I like being outside in winter, but there's not really anything to do right now. One more. Right on the money, kid. So where is it? I don't suspect they emit an audible signature when I'm close, do they? Go do it, fam. It's a good idea. Um, I have easy to make hot chocolate actually, um, as well, but it's in the form of what do you call it? It's um, chocolate brownie toffee mocha mocha. This is probably the least PS1-esque one I've seen so far. And that it's not um, using those wobbly texture filters and all that other stuff that a lot of the other games are using, uh, the shaders and, and such. Nevertheless, I like the lo-fi approach. I like the, uh, the boldness of using these emissives here. And the lens flares. A man who never eats pork buns is never a whole man. It's right there on the floor on the white. On this floor? retrace my steps. Oh, there. <sighs> oh, thanks, Pastry. You know what? Um, I was thinking, just as I was going around here, I was thinking, they wouldn't put it in one of these big bright lights where I can't possibly see it, would they? No one would do that. <laughs> Well, we're not working with uh, much in terms of mechanics here, so I'll let them have the benefit of the doubt on that one. Nevertheless, the basement is now open. I look forward to seeing what is inside. These are short demos after all. Even accomplishing a completed thing is uh, an achievement in and of itself. Oh, the floor is gonna destroy my bitrate, let's go. Oh, hello. There's a... Inescapable bitrate room. Oh, it's fine. Father, death has brought the two of us together. Maybe it would have been better if it hadn't. Oh, I understand now. Nice. There's some cool set pieces in there. Who was that? What was that? Sorry, I'm on the creaky chair, I forgot to swap out. That was 195 hours in the cold. By a team forbidden. Good. 
Let's move on. Elgato, you need to stop. SMS by Minnie and Marcus. Here we go. Oh, is that a Nokia 3210? Are we going to have to kill something with this? I think it's... Mm. Ah! I think it's powerful enough. I'm also going to reduce the volume by 70%. <laughs> hey, hun, it's been a while. How are you keeping yourself? Love, Mom. Oh, you know, I'm just on the... This isn't the London Underground. Mm. There's not enough people. This is the correct number, I assume. Hope you're doing well. Message back soon, Mom. Then who was phone? Is this the game? Is this the then who was phone game? <laughs> Your father says hello. He's been busy painting that old rickety fence. Call back soon, okay, mother? I've been talking to your friends recently and I hope it's okay over there in Icebrook. Not too cold, haha, <laughs> mom. They told me you visited them this weekend. I assume you are on your way home now. Hope it was fun, mom. We're in Nokia Purgatory. <laughs> Are you still on the way home, M? Am I a person who never responds? What did I do to deserve your ignorance? Where did I go wrong? I just want to talk, M. Just write an email. Please respond just so your father and I know that you are okay, M. I am starting to worry. The news just said that a train stopped working in the middle of nowhere. Yours, M. Reminds me of a story I heard, a real story. I am on my way to check if I find the train. I know it's ridiculous, but I am your mother and I am worried. Don't text and drive. I found it. Are you in there? Maybe. All the doors are shut tight. What is going on here? I am looking for one that I can open. He texts fast. It's like minus two bar reception. I found was question mark. I found one. I am inside. I think I can see you if you carriages away from mine. I am coming. I'm almost there, and everything is going to be all right. I am coming closer. Only two more carriages. I'm in the carriage next to you. Come to the door. Oh, my mum is the jelly bean person. I found you. Now you are free from that horrible human. Let's go home, my little phone. Oh. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's good. That's a good uh, subversion of expectations right there. She was phone. She was actually phone mom. We were phone. But who was phone? Phone was mom's phone. But who were we? There's a question.
<laughs> but who was phone? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We finally f played who was phone game. Sort of. I, I, we need a who was phone game jam. One game isn't going to be enough. Uh, Paralysis Penguin. That's a picture by Z Bill. Dan Zan Oh. <laughs> That's fun to say. Oh, by the way, uh, content warning suicide and bar body horror. Paralysis Penguin. <gasps> chew. Chew, chew, chew. But who was phone? That game was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It was just a narrative piece, but yeah, it was good. Am I in the wrong game? I am. Uh, I cannot control this one. I'm going to reload it. I get it. Paralysis Penguin. Oh. It lets you read the chat back now. That's amazing. That's a really good change because a lot of the time I have to refresh. Um, especially if I'm downloading something and I've gone behind. And then you lose it all. That's very cool. Am I controlling this or the camera? It feels very strange. Uh, F11 full screen escape quit. Okay. It's only when you're modded, but it's useful, I see. I mean, it should be an option, really. I don't know why it doesn't do that. It does that with... Like, Discord and stuff. I guess it just doesn't keep chat logs. For a swim. They're just big IOC chats, yeah. It should be very easy. It's it baffles me that that is not a function. Oh. Wiki wiki Astro. You need to save all these mics before Grandpa gets here. I said that really weird. But walk to it. <laughs> These minks. Base to pick up. It's hard to make up my face. Yeah, I feel like a Minecraft guy. Like a villager. I like the music. It's weird. <laughs> extremely midi. There's two things I appreciate. You need to save all these mics before Grandpa gets here.
It reminds me of Earthbound. No way. Minks are soft weasels, aren't they? Yeah, the only difference between a mink and a weasel is that, um, is it weasels have the white stripe on their chest is like a fuzzy edge instead of a perfectly straight line. That's the only difference, <laughs> as far as I know. Um, but it could be the other way around, but it's, that's basically it. The camera is pretty wacky. Um, I wasn't sure if I was controlling a guy or the camera at first. Anyway, I think, I think I saved all the minks, Goofy. Wait, is that Blue from Blue's Clues? Good job, Astro! Do you reckon those was trying to kill themselves? Blue is a girl. Well, Raphael's here. You're late. You've ruined our team's chances to win the Puzzle Championship. Absolute idiot. I have the limiter on, I think, right now. So this should help. There is no treasure in God's Puzzle House. Okay. I was super looking forward to com comboing those puzzle pieces in the exact same way I combo rad pizza slices into my turtle mouth. Alas, we are now destined to be second pepperoni or something. Uh, people's favorite turtles. Mine probably Leonardo because, I don't know, blue and ninja swords, right? But... I don't, I don't really know. That was a long time ago. Master Scratch or whatever the Rat Lord was called, that's Splinter. Um, I think I was into it when I was a kid, but I just don't remember it. However, I did. I, the last Turtles I watched was the Nickelodeon one, like the 3D one. It's pretty good. Um, I liked uh, Mikey in that one quite a lot. Master Scratch. It just sound like a DJ. Uh, did, did you hear Grandpa's coming? Yeah, Blue told me that before he tried to kill himself. Wait, I mean it sure is trash that you ruined our chances at Puzzle Mastery. I am the Puzzle Master. You know who I am. The blue one. <laughs> the cleaning show had no right to be as good as it was. Yeah, uh, it was pretty great. Do I hear quacking? What? I'm not drunk. But what are you? I thought it was Chitaro at first, but... Yeah, I was more of a Thundercats guy. I wish I had some penguins. Seriously. If you pick them up, they get paralyzed, making them perfect for stacking. I used to hire a whole flock that I used to help get up to the really high shelves. I miss them. Stacking penguins, eh? Oh, it's reminding me of worlds and all sorts of weird shit. I like this. This is cool. This has got style and panache. Space to pick up. He wants penguins. Let's give him penguins. Speedrun strats. Walking diagonally is faster. Stack penguins to floating door. You're right. You're right. I was trying to give him the penguins. But what I really should have done is notice the floating door. <laughs> now pastry is the puzzle master. Oh, I see.
<laughs> One's a little off kilter. Um, remember to ask for consent before stacking penguins. That's correct. I wonder how Rob's doing with his house move. <laughs> that was a kid going into a filter. That's great. <laughs> Ghost hobos. Walking around campus and noticed somebody was wearing socks for some reason. I panicked when I realized I forgot my student card to get in the Minx building. But then I looked down and saw I was wearing socks, which is where I keep my card. Did you know Grandpa's coming? Anyway, Xmas was cool that year. Second come though, this is a placeholder. Nothing important here, just some monologuing. <laughs> you know how much I like medieval times. And this was like anime magical girl medieval times. It was perfect. He's here. He's here. He's here. Grandpa is here. Grandpa's here. Hi, Grandpa. Love you too, Grandpa. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. I think they bailed on the ending a little bit. <laughs> but otherwise, I liked that game a lot. That was really cool. I don't know how to end it. How about just Grandpa's face gets really big and he just, like, headbutts you into the ground? Okay. It didn't quite have the narrative subversion that I that I'd just gotten from the previous game, but overall that was pretty cool. So yeah, good job, good job, team. Eleven. What lies within the eyes? Oh, that's one of those trailers. You know, you know, movie trailer voice guy that you always hear on all the movie trailers. Um, th there's like a few that pop into my head like, movie titles whenever I think of that, and one of them is like, DRAG ME TO HELL! I know you, I know you don't have the screen yet, it's fine. <sighs> I figured there was no point, <laughs> because I'm just gonna load the next game anyway. <laughs> like, DRAG ME TO HELL! And then the next one is, uh, well if you wanna see it, here you go. Um... The other one is like, WHAT LIES BENEATH! So that, that reminded me of that. There's gotta be, like, some other mnemonic. Well, since we're here. Uh, negative entities. Very cool. Let's go. But who was phone? Who was phone? Nope, the um, phone, phone was a film. A very cool horror movie. A Korean one that I've mentioned before. See, now I have to, like, find this. There, there we go. Ah, oh, see this? Now we're getting back towards those, um... The snow is so thick I can barely see a thing. ps one -E graphics, this is pretty. I know those ruins have to be around here somewhere. Look, Christmas trees! Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, something, something, something. <laughs> I don't know the words, I know the tune. I was never a big Christmas boy. Oh, coniferous tree. Oh, Norwegian pine tree. I like these trees. They look really nice, don't they? <laughs> Let's 
good work. Oh shit, I got a twisty turnery end, as uh, Maelstrom would say. Uh, but I've got a good sense of these things. I believe that this is the direction I should travel in. Who was phone? Oh, who was phone? Who the fuck is on my phone? Was it mom? Or was it dad? Was it Stacy's boyfriend, Brad? I don't know. I turned into like a, a pop punk song at the end there. <laughs> this looks like a fancied up version of a Red Orchestra OST. Ostfront, 4145. Oh, I don't know what, what that one is. You lost me, bud. Was Red Orchestra a tank game? I'm trying to use my, nog my noggin. It's oh, nice. I'm just enjoying these pillars. The highlights. This is... Oh, it's like Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Warm pillars. It's really, really nice looking game, actually. This. You can tell that, that some effort has gone into making these textures look nice beyond just lo fiing them. There was a war shooter, so it probably has tanks in it. Hmm. changes. So we're playing SCP now. <laughs> it is crazy pretty. Hi y'all. Good morning. Don't forget to blink. I don't know how to blink. Neil, if you got Dead by Daylight sorted out on your PlayStation 4... This is fucking cool. Those highlights really make a big difference here. What time is the pastry thing? 5pm. 5pm for DBD! Dragon Ball Daylight. I feel like I'm going into... Uh... Relia... Relia? Relia? How do you say it? You know what I mean. The Lovecraft thing. Oh god! Ah. I'm disappointed, but only that there's not more of that. I want to see more of that. But that was fucking cool. It was really pretty. And it was like one developer. And remember, these are demos and, and short things. Guess I'll get food now. <laughs> you want to go get food, but you want to see this game? You saw all of it, I'm afraid. All right, let's go. <sighs> what else is there? There's only two more left in this collection that we can do today. Sorry, what was that called? I really like that the the look of that one. It's pretty. What lies within the ice? Negative entities. So yes, 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 yes. Keep an eye on that. Eyes and ears, number twelve, by Userlands. Where is it? Where is it? There. Oh! That's a fun bit of news that just popped into my head as soon as I saw this. They released Myst uh, as a VR game. Pretty interesting. 
I might have to check that out at some point. I don't think I ever really played through all of Mist. Uh. Oh god, it controls like... It controls like it. And it also controls like... D. I'm playing D. At least it shows me where I can go in this one, which is something that D did not have. I'm good at all kinds of wild camera angles. It's wacky. was it. Okay, I'm gonna load that up again. That was clearly more of a tech demo. And I might have missed something. I wonder if there's a way to interact. So. Yeah, I think this is a tech demo for the the style of gameplay that this person wants to go for, as well as the uh, the kind of visuals. Very missed, like some like yeah, if missed was a PS One game. Oh, that was nice and short, I guess. And that means. Uh, day 13 will be the last day we can play today. You have reached the end. I forgot to check who made that one. What happened? Um, it, it, was, it was a very, very short thing. Okay, I feel like I'm upside down. This is another one that is a pretty nice looking game, um, although it's using real te realistic textures. And it's got a lot of this film grain stuff on to kind of cover up some of the imperfections. The lighting's doing a good job um, of bouncing off a pretty re low resolution reflection. I'm sorry, what? I blinked and missed it. It's not on PS1 hardware. PS1 couldn't even load this menu. <laughs> Inspired by Bosnian Ape Society's video, you have reached the end. Wow, a couple of really short ones, huh? So yeah, this is just like that one texture. It's very low resolution texture, but um, 
and has a specular map. Maybe I missed something in the static, I don't know. Not much to this one. I don't really comment too much. Yeah, some of the days are like five seconds of tech demo, but you know what? It's like a real advent calendar. Like, like if you get one of those advent calendars that's got cars and stuff in it, but then you get a day and all you get is like a fucking traffic cone. These are like the traffic cones of the advent calendar. <laughs> I mean, they serve a purpose. They help tie the scene together at the end, but um, individually, they're not exciting. Unlocks December 14th, so we've reached the end of the Madvent Calendar seg segment. But that's perfect, because that lands us exactly on 1 o'clock, and I did say I wanted this to be not a three-hour stream, a shorter one. So that means we can spend an hour on Haunted PS1. Perfect. Yeah, like the Lego Advent Calendars where you get a boot, <laughs> or a cap, <laughs> or like a cup, a Lego cup. It's like, I paid £150 for this, and on day 23, I got a Lego cup. Anyway, um, we'll have to come back to this... When will we next do this? Probably... It's an 18th? Sunday the 18th, I want to say? Are we going to do Devil Sauna once again? Yeah, we're going to do that right now, actually. I wanted to open with it. Because it's the last thing we did from Haunted PS1 before, and I know that you can get... I know you can win that. There's like a, a different way to end that. And now that we know how where to click... Like, I knew how to do this sort of stuff, but knowing... Where to click exactly was the hard part, because it's a little bit finicky. But anyway. This has been Madvent Calendar. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to move on to Haunted PS1. Hold your horses. I'm going to update the ticker slightly. Haunted PS1 demo disc, sorry, this is the Haunted PS1 Madvent calendar. It's by the same folks, more or less.